Hello, Facebook and Instagram. Hi, everyone. Okay, I'm trying to look up and so I can see everybody. Face, face, I was going to say, Facegram is up there. <laughs> hey, Facegram, Facebook and Instagram put together. Um, I am really excited to be coming live with you guys on Sunday. So happy Sunday to you all. I hope you all are getting ready, you know, feeling good and trying to take care of yourself for this week uh, because you deserve it. You deserve all the self-care you can get and we need self-care to keep ourselves going. And as you all know, I am Ayana, your transformational health coach. And what that means is that I help people who are feeling stuck with their healthy habits. So, you know, if you didn't know this, uh, 90 to 98% of us lose weight and gain it back within six months. Okay. So most of us need some type of assistance to, to keep it off or to stay healthy for good, whether the goal is weight loss or getting healthy. So what I do is I help you transform your relationship to food, you know, so all of that beating myself up because I ate that or, you know, not eating enough of this. I help you transform your relationship to exercise and I help you transform your relationship to your body so you can feel motivated for life and stick with your goals, okay? And I've helped, you know, my clients right now are losing weight. They're feeling good. They're getting into the healthy eating and healthy regular exercise that is just amazing. And that's how I lost 50 pounds myself. I needed a dramatic mindset shift, and most of us do. So in any event, today I'm here to talk to you about transforming, you know, like in the past few weeks, I've been talking a lot about what's been going on in the news. And because I feel the most important thing that that anyone can get help around when it comes to their health goals. Yes, nutrition and and um, exercise are extremely important. But if you're not motivated, guess what? It doesn't get done, no matter how much you know. So what we have to do is work on our mindsets so that we can stay motivated. And today I want to talk to you guys about you know getting motivated with exercising and moving your body. Okay, hard to do on a good day, but even harder for a lot of us during a pandemic. Okay. So one of the things that, that has been saving my mental health during this time is my exercise routine, okay? So me eating well and exercising during this crazy, crazy A time <laughs> has been one of the things that has saved my life and my mental health. And so that's why I wanna pay it forward with this video. And this video is, you know, how to kind of find that motivation when you're feeling stuck. Oh, hey, thank you everyone on Instagram. Thank you, the only man left. Thank you, S. JK2106, thank you for watching everyone and showing me some love. And on Facebook, I see we got a few people too. Thank you for watching guys. So, um, and as you know, I'm gonna be looking back and forth between Facebook camera and Instagram camera, better known as my laptop and my phone. So there we go. <laughs> and one of the things, you know, because right now in the Bay Area, I believe that every, again, it all starts in the mindset. When I worked on my mindset, it was so much easier for me to stick to my healthy habits. And now they're just a part of my routine. And that is something that we can all have. I tell people this all the time. It's hilarious to me that I'm a health coach. I'm the last person on planet Earth I thought would be like, you know, hey, health coach guru making videos because I ate whatever I wanted and, and loved it. You know, I'm both Southern, Southern and um, my roots are Southern and Caribbean. I don't know about portions. I didn't know about just not eating what you wanted to eat, things that were delicious. So I, I had it from both sides. I had challenges on eating from both sides. And I also was not a huge fan of exercise. Let's call it spade a spade. Just wasn't. I felt like, you know, the, I remember a couple of times in life I tried to run as a youth, could hardly breathe, and it was just a hot mess. So it's hilarious now that I can run six miles because I was the last person. So I say this to say that if I could do that, if I could get into it, if I could get into exercise and eating well and lose weight and keep it off, we all can. We just have to change our mindsets and how we look at things. And right now we're dealing with so much. There's so many things happening in the world that can be demotivating. And right now in the Bay Area, if you don't know what's going on, we have these wildfires all throughout California that are insane. I also was just talking to some really great uh, friends of mine who are in New Orleans and they're worried about a hurricane. So, uh, you know, stay safe, do what you need to do. Oh, thank you for that compliment. You know, I try to keep uh, try to keep it hot and spicy for you guys. Thank you for saying that. Instagram was just saying that I look amazing. Thank you, Instagram. So <laughs> enough of that. But uh, oh, what was I saying? I got distracted. Oh yeah. So there's so many things that are happening in the world right now, and sometimes it can make it feel impossible to take care of yourself. When actually, I submit to you that instead of viewing self care 
as the as the occasional thing that we do when I when we have time, instead viewing it as the non-negotiable that I must make time for, the non-negotiable that I require in order to be functional as a human. Okay. In order for me to be this happy <laughs> and energized on these videos, there's a lot of self-care that goes into this. There's exercise, there's eating well, there's reading inspirational books, listening to podcasts, there's you know, time for me to Netflix and chill. There are walks outside. There's a lot, I mean, I have my kids inside and they're distance learning with me and I'm working. I mean, it's just enough to drive anybody crazy, right? So it's just, we have to do these things. It is non-negotiable for me. And I used to treat it as if I have time and I no longer do that. And I want you guys to all shift that, that perspective. So here are the things that I recommend. Before I jump into the tips, um, the first thing I also wanna to say too is that I have a couple of things. You know, if you want, if you know that you need help with this, if you know that like me, you are a chronic you know, struggler, I think that's a word, struggler <laughs> with, ex with exercising and eating well, you know, or just even making that self-care time for yourself, definitely hit me up. I would love, love, love yeah. to support you with the free session. We can just talk. We can figure out, you know, what it is, where it is that you want to be, what it is that's really stopping you from getting there. Okay. Mindset level and what you have to do to move forward. We'll make a plan together. Okay. It's that simple. You don't have to sign up for coaching. You can, if you want to, you don't have to, you know, and also too, I have a number of different things, ways to support you. I have an online course. I have, um, 30 days to healthy living programs. I have short-term uh, supports that can help you right now where I send you a kit full of supplements and protein shakes and all these wonderful things. I also have products. So I have so many different ways to support you. It's incredible, okay? And at affordable prices. So definitely hit me up. I would love, love, love to support you in a, one -on in a free breakthrough session, okay? Oh, um, so let's jump in now to these tips, okay? So with these tips, the first tip in my notes is to really overcome the injustice of, the, of it all. Okay. Now let's talk about this one. This is a big, 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 big one. And it's, and I, and it's a big one for me too. Right now we are in a time that is full of injustice. It just feels unfair. You know, you can raise your hand if you're feeling that way. I definitely feel that way between, I mean, look, let's this pandemic for crying out loud, the, you know, all of the violence that's going on in this country, the political tension, um, politicians saying things that's, that, that I feel like are oppressive and getting on my nerves and racist and, and just, you know, more hate being emboldened and people acting in vigilante ways. I mean, it's just enough to drive everyone crazy, let alone all of the normal things we have to deal with. You know, for me, it's like being a parent. I have my kids inside with me while I have to work like so many of us do. And I have to, you know, help them with their distance learning. As I mentioned, I have a three-year-old who's in preschool <laughs> for crying out loud. Okay. She's in preschool doing distance learning and we have a five-year-old. I mean, there's a lot of injustice in that. And it's normal to, f to be upset about that. It is okay. It is unfair. And for you, you know, I don't know what your specific situation is, but it's unfair for you too. There's a lot going on on our planet right now that feels unjust and unfair. And to top it all off, you know, the one way that I was, the one thing that I was doing for myself every day that was so, so helpful was to get outside and go for a walk. You know, I would exercise for 30 minutes each day and get outside and go for a walk, except on Sundays when I run. And one of the things that I haven't been able to do for the past few days because of like toxic air in the Bay Area is go outside and walk because the air has been unhealthy and hazardous. And if you don't know anything about good air quality, those are the highest three levels of, of air not being safe to breathe, okay? So where they tell you, stay inside, don't go outside at all. I'm an outdoor cat, so that's a very hard thing for me to do and for so many other people. So it, it can really feel like, you know, for my friends who are dealing with this hurricane, it can start to feel like, oh my goodness, well, is everything stacked against me? But here's the thing. If we enter into it with that mindset, you know, it's okay to have those feelings. But then remember that if you just, if we live there, if we stay there, then we don't empower ourselves to take action. And one of the things that I've been working on with myself is like, okay, I feel the oppressiveness of this situation. I feel the injustice of this. This isn't fair right now, but what do I have power over? What do I have control over? What can I do? And when I think along, when I give myself permission to be upset, permission to be sad and angry with everything going on, 
But then I also give myself permission to move on and move forward and do something. Then I can start getting into action mode, right? I can start being like, and you have to do that when you're ready, right? You don't want to force yourself. And one of the things, you know, having a coach or a therapist can be really good with this, that you don't get stuck because it's not an, it's not an easy thing to do on our own. But, you know, talking to friends and loved ones, you know, having a coach myself, those are all things that help me move out of that headspace. Journaling are things that help me too. And I'm able to say to myself, okay, yes, this is unfair, but what do I have control over? And what it's helped me do is to find empowering ways to support, to deal with the distance learning. So I was able to, you know, reach out to my in-laws, to, to my um, to my husband's really awesome dad and stepmom, and just say, hey, we really need you guys. We're, we, we have work. You know, for me, it's two jobs, my business and another and another in a teaching job. We need some help. Can you guys help us out with the kids? And thank goodness they said yes. OK, now we had to sequester ourselves for 14 days to make sure we were covid free, but they are stepping up and helping us. Right. And we're also going to do things like have other people come and help us clean the house, outsourcing, doing their hair, doing our daughter's hair. So we don't have to do all of that. But so when we move past the injustice of this moment and how unfair everything is, we can find solutions that can help us stay sane. And it's the same thing with exercise too. So even though, yes, you might be trapped inside due to weather, air quality, or just not really feeling it, not really feeling motivated, but there are ways for you to mope to, to, to not feel trapped by your situation and to overcome the injustice of it all so that you can move forward. Okay. And same thing with the injustice of this moment. It's able to find, you know, friends of mine who are doing community things where I can feel, where I don't have to feel helpless with everything happening in our society right now. And I can take action, small actions, right. With the time that I have, but action nonetheless. Okay. So just thinking through how can you overcome the injustice of this moment to do something that's going to make you feel good. Okay. Also, the second tip I want to uh, recognize is, or have you recognized is that movement, if you're not moving, if you're not exercising consistently right now, there's no time like the present, okay? Movement is necessary for your mental health. We know that when we exercise and move our bodies, it gives us an endorphin rush, which is always welcome. <laughs> Send me those feel good chemicals anytime. And also too, just the way that our body changes and feeling, and feeling good and having a goal to strive towards is really, really good for our mental health. Okay, so movement is really, really good for your mental health. And I said, it's been key for mine. Okay, it helps to give you energy, helps you feel better in your skin, more confident, all of that. Okay. Oh, the third thing is, okay, getting creative with your workouts. Okay, so online workouts. Yes, this is nothing new. And I'm sure during this pandemic, you've probably tried a couple of online workouts. I have been a fan of online workouts since my daughter, since my three-year-old was born. Okay. Now, at first I was not an online workout person. I thought for sure, there's no way that I have the willpower <laughs> to keep up with an online workout regimen. But once I worked on my motivation, it was actually fine. What I love about an online workout, and especially right now, when you're, when you're having bad air, when there's weather stuff or anything else that's keeping you from moving forward, you have to get creative. And what's great is that online workouts have so much variety as far as what you can do. You can dance to anything you want to dance to. If you don't want to find, you know, a specific workout, you can just find your favorite music and have a playlist going and dance. And it's wonderful. Today, so normally on Sundays, I go outside for a run. Today, horribly bad air. Couldn't do that. But I found this woman. Oh, God, her name is Paula P-A-H-L-A-P. -P. Is it Paula B or P? I'll have to link to her in my Facebook, and I'll try to put a put her link in the comments, but, oh no, actually, if you, if you go on my Instagram or my Facebook, you'll see that I actually tagged her in there. So if you want to learn more about her, but she's an ultra marathoner and she puts, she made videos on YouTube of her running indoors with no treadmill in place like this. I'm not even kidding. So I, I it sounds incredible, but for an hour I did that. Like she had a six, like a 10 K it was a 6.2 mile running in place situation with music and she was very and she was a lot of fun and she was just very inspirational throughout the whole process it was amazing my calves hurt like crazy but it was incredible and you don't have to do that you don't have to be as crazy as i am but when i say that you can really find anything <laughs> you can find anything and go for something that break, that gives you joy get creative get excited you know give yourself something to look forward to 
So dancing, I love, you know, just putting on a really good playlist and just dancing, or you can find dance workouts, any type of workout online, okay, on YouTube or on the gym that I use called Daily Burn, which is great, okay? Oh, the other thing that I like too, okay, so this is something that I had to do a couple of days ago. I'm an outdoor cat. I already said this to you before. I started to go a little nuts. You can ask my family. <laughs> they got the brunt of it, sadly. But I started I started to go a little nuts when I'm trapped inside the house too long. Some people are totally fine with this. My husband, totally fine with being in the house for three days. I couldn't do it. So I finally just started being like, okay, we're just going to walk around Costco. We're just going to walk around Costco. We're going to, we're buying one thing because Costco can be a little bit of a trap. We're buying one thing. We're going to walk around Costco and that's it. So even if you just have to go into a store or other places, I don't know if libraries are open now. God, I wish. But just finding, you know, being creative. And if nothing else is open because we're in this pandemic, go to a store, walk around, get some steps in. I'll probably be doing that a little bit later today, even though we already did that yesterday. I told you I'm not kidding. Okay, I need, I need my movement. I need to walk. <laughs> I need to be outside of this house. So what can you do for yourself that can help you move today? Even if you have to just, even if it's just the store, okay? Or, you know, or to someone else's house, okay? Um, now, it, depending, I guess, on who's in your pod and who you might have an agreement with, but get out and move around in those ways as well too. Really, really uh, good ways to get that movement in. And then finally, the last thing is, you know, eating well, okay? So just a reminder to yourself that movement is life. Movement is necessary. Even if you haven't been moving that much, that's okay. Just start where you are. Give yourself permission to move however you want your body to move today. And, and that'll just help you to feel a little bit better in these times. You deserve it. And remember, you cannot be of any help to the people that you love and to the causes that you care about if you lose your mind, okay? So take care of you. You deserve it. And one last announcement real quick, just one more reminder that if you if you know you need support around this, because I needed it too, definitely message me. I would love, I'd be honored to support you in a free breakthrough session, okay? Oh, the health and wellness company I partner with, Arbonne, they have all of these amazing products that, um, you know, to help you feel really good nutritionally. And also they have this bomb skincare line that they're launching too. So if you need another self-care thing going on for you, it's called Live Well, Age Well. That's glorious. And I'll be trying some of these products out. I have not taken care of my, of my skin beyond water because I'm extremely frugal, but I'm looking forward to investing in myself for my sanity and my mental health, <laughs> doing something nice for myself. Okay. So if you want to know more about that, just like, or, or put a comment in the video and I will definitely reach out to you. All right, everyone take care. I hope you enjoy yourself. Find some way to move today. I'm going back to the store. All right. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye, Instagram. And bye, Facebook. Have a good day. Oop. Let's see. How do we end the live video? There we go.